Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a new business to help share tips and advice about their industry. And today I have Frank Dick. Um, Frank, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, why don't you tell a little bit about yourself and what you do. Okay, uh, my name is Frank Dick. I own uh, Mr. Fix-It Handyman Services. We're a full service handyman company. We take care of the triangle and surrounding areas. Okay, so why don't you uh, explain to myself and the viewers why would someone call a handyman versus, um, say, a professional tradesperson? Well, there's several reasons. You know, um, just because your faucet's leaking doesn't necessarily mean that you need to call a plumber. Um, you know, we could usually come in and take care of that. And then in that hour that we're there, we could take care of some other things for you around the house that the, the plumber wouldn't be able to do. Um, you know, a plumber, they're going to come in with their high service charges, and they're going to come in, fix your faucet, and they're going to leave, uh, potentially maybe even, you know, referring that you need a another faucet or something else where we can come in and fix the problem at hand and then if we see other issues we can say hey while we're here it's not going to cost you any more we can adjust your doorknob or do some other things as well so frank what are some uh types of calls that you get where you know that if the homeowner just knew a little bit of information they could do it themselves and save them some money yeah uh, so like Small things that you can do, you know, you can adjust doors. If your door's not latching completely, there's a couple of things you can do. Uh, the biggest call that we get is garbage disposals. A lot of people don't realize that there's a red reset button on the very bottom of your garbage disposal, and there's an Allen wrench that you can turn to unlock your garbage disposal. So if you turn it on and it's making a humming noise, that means that it's locked. So if you go underneath and you turn that, turn it off, and then you turn that with an Allen wrench, it breaks it free, and then it usually will break up whatever's st stuck in there, and, and it'll work. Um, if it's not making any noise, you want to just push that reset button and turn it back on and see if it comes on. Um, you know, so and then doors, for instance, doors. If your door, when you shut it or open, if it doesn't latch, it could be just a matter of moving the little latch plate up and down a bit, or um, you can take and screw a, a longer screw in the hinge, top or bottom, to cause the door to move left or right. Therefore, it'll it'll line it up with the, the latch. Okay. Um, well, sorry. Go ahead. I got a, a question. Um, you know, Christmas time, I hang my Christmas lights outside. Springtime, I do power washing, mm -hmm. but I've noticed that on my gutter that, you know, even a power wash won't even take off this like brown stuff that's on my white gutter. On do you have the gutter. Any, any clues on what I could do? Yeah, you, there's two or three different options you can do. Um, it, it depends on what kind of trees you have around you. Different trees are acidic in different ways. Um, some trees you can use um, just vinegar water, and vinegar water will break that down. Some of them an ammonia. It depends on if it's very acidic or very basic. Um, whether or not um, you would want to go with an ammonia or a vinegar, but either one of those you, usually takes care of that problem. Okay. Now, I know we were talking off camera a little bit, but you offer some type of uh, preventive maintenance plan? Right. We do. Um, what we're offering is, is a, a preventive maintenance program where you go, you know, you go to the doctor every year mm -hmm. and get a checkup. Um, and you take your car every three to 5,000 miles, get your oil changed, you get your tires rotated and all those things. Well, your home is your biggest expense. So why wouldn't you do something to do a preventive maintenance on your home? So what we do is we come into your house four times a year. We'll change your filters for you. We will check your caulking around your windows, your weather stripping, make sure that your house is weatherized properly. Uh, check your drains, check your faucets, make sure they drain and, and, and run properly. Um, some things that, you know, even just an initial walkthrough, we can come with you one time and show you the things that you need to do. And a lot of them are things that you can do. You just don't think about it. You know, most people, by the time they're done with their work day and they get home, they're tired. And they just want to sit and relax, spend time with the kids, mm -hmm. you know, and in the weekends, the weekends they've worked all week. It's, you know, it's football games, basketball games, soccer, dance recitals. They just don't have time to do it. So we can come in and do it for you or we can come in and coach you how you can do it effectively. So you're not spending all weekend taking care of the house. You just spend a couple hours here and a couple hours there taking care of everything. Great. Good information. So, I appreciate it. Frank with Mr. Fix It. And if you'd like more information, Check out the website at the end of this video, and if you'd like to comment, fill out the comment box below. That's all I have for this week. Thanks a lot. Take care.